Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install PostgreSQL 16 or any PostgreSQL version on Azure Virtual Machine. Then we will see how to connect to PostgreSQL which is hosted on Azure Virtual Machine from PSQL, PG Admin and DBUR. Okay. See, I have connected to my Azure portal, then click on Menus, then select All Services or search here for Virtual Machine. Click on Virtual Machines. See, I don't have any virtual machines. Click on create or click on create. Both are same. Click on create and select Azure virtual machine. Here we have to provide the resource group name. Select from the drop down. Then click on create new. Okay. So I have one. Then provide the name for virtual machine. I am going to install Ubuntu 2022. See, we can install anything that any Linux operating system, but the process is same. Okay region select the region select the availability options i am going with availability zone okay next zones i'm going with zone one only okay here security type i'm going with standard if you are unable see but here it is showing ubuntu 20.04 earlier version but if you are unable to find 22 click on the see all images see we have the ubuntu server 20.04 earlier version even if you are unable to find search here in marketplace search here Ubuntu and hit enter. You will get all Ubuntu machine images. Okay, select this Ubuntu Gen 1. Okay, then VM architecture x64. Select the size. See, we have this is the recently used one. If you want to select more vCPUs and memory, click on see all sizes and select from the list. Okay, I'm okay with the first one. Next, administration account. We have two types one SSH public key and password. I am going with password. It is up to you. Okay. Provide the username. Provide the password for this user. See the password must satisfy these three rules. Okay. One upper, one lower, and one special character. And length must be 12 characters. It is minimum. Okay. Then inbound port rules. So by default. It is going to select SSH2. If you want all this 80443, select them. See, we have filled all basics. Next, click on disks R. Click on disk. Both are same. OS disk. By default, it has selected 30 gigabytes. If you want to increase, you can select from the list. OS disk type. I am going with standard SSD. It is up to you based on your requirement on the go to the purpose of each one. See, next option is delete with EM. See, if you want to delete this OS disk whenever, if you delete, whenever, if you delete, virtual machine, okay. So, it is up to you. Key management, I am not going to, I am not going to attach also any disks. So, click on networking. See, select the, I don't have any virtual network. So, it is going to create new one. If we have anything, then it will tell, select the new, but name will be this one. Okay? So, if you want to create different one, you have to provide all the details here, okay. At present, I am not going to create, and this is the subnet range. And public IP, if you want public IP, you have to select the first one, otherwise, and select none. Okay, and then network security group, I am going with all, remaining all basics. Okay, then click on management. Here also, I am going with the defaults, monitoring also defaults, user data or custom data. I am not going to provide anything. Click on tags, click on review and create. See here validation password okay so and this is the estimated cost power see these are the options okay if you satisfy with all these settings click on create so i'm okay with the settings click on create see virtual machine is created go to resource see this is the worry of the azure virtual machine so now we are going to connect to this virtual machine click on connect connect copy the ip open putty if you want to install party, install it. It is free and it is straight away installation. Click on it. Press the IP. Click on open. Click on accept. Then provide the username. See, we can get the username from here. Okay. And password that which we have provided at the time of creating this virtual machine. See, we have successfully connected. Let me change the font. Control L to clear screen. Now I am going to install PostgreSQL 16 on this virtual machine. New tab, 
then go to postgresql dot org download hit enter then click on linux click on ubuntu see here we got the list of the commands that we need to run to install the postgresql copy the first one go back to terminal and hit enter again copy the second one that is to import the sign in key hit enter next update the package list hit enter this may take one or two minutes it is success okay next copy this one to install the process equal see if we give the process equal without any version number it will install the latest version available in the repository suppose if you want to install 12 you give hyphen 12 suppose if you want to install 15 give hyphen or minus 15 okay so i want to install 16 so the latest version is 16 so it will install the latest one and hit enter see it is installing process equal 16 okay we have successfully installed PostgreSQL version. Let us verify whether PostgreSQL server is started or not. Control L to clear screen. sudo system ctl. ctl status PostgreSQL. And hit enter. See, PostgreSQL service is active and running and it is enabled. So, no need to enable or start the service. Okay, let us connect to the PostgreSQL. sudo su hyphen PostgreSQL. The first step, next psql is the tool to connect to postgresql server. Hit enter. See, we have connected to the postgresql 16. Let us verify. Select version. See, postgresql version is 16.2 on Ubuntu machine. Okay. The first step after connecting to postgresql server is we have to set the password for super user. That is postgres. So, it is slash backslash du. See, we have only one user that is the super user so we have to set the password for this postgres user so command is alter user postgres with password admin you the anyone that you like but it must be the strong password and hit enter this type of hit enter see alter rule means we have successfully Changed the password. Okay. Now we will see how to connect to this PostgreSQL server from PG Admin, PSQL tool, or DB1. Okay. So open PG Admin. If you want to install PG Admin on your machine, go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Click on PG Admin for before opening this one. Go to we will see how to connect from the PSQL. Server, okay. So open command prompt. If you have installed See, if you have installed, see, I assume you have installed PSQL or the PostgreSQL client on your machine. So, then only we can run this command. PSQL hyphen H, H means hostname. Here, hostname, you have to give this IP. Copy this IP, paste it. Hyphen U, username is Postgres. We have only one user, D, database. Let me see how many, let me show you how many databases are. See, we have only one database. Remain into our template databases. Okay. So, I find the Postgres. Then hit enter. So, if it doesn't work, then here we have to go here. DNS name. Then provide the DNS name. I am giving ub 2 And click on save. See, we got the error. Okay. Also, we have to. This is the one thing we have to set. The other one is go to overview. Refresh here. I have See, I have set the DNS name. Now go to pjadmin. See, I have opened the pjadmin console. Click on add new server. Provide the Azure VM VM PG16. This can be anything. Okay. In here connection, we have to give hostname or address. Address means IP. Okay. Go to console. Try with this public IP. Give it. Then, what is 543? Then, Postgres, username also Postgres, provide the password. Click on save. See, we got the connection error. Then try with this DNS name. Copy it, replace this, click on save. I hope this will also throw error. Okay, so solution is here. Click on networking, click on add inbound rule. Here we have to give this service Postgres. 
then click on add go here and click on save i hope this time also we will be failed we have to set one more setting yeah that that is we have to set one more configuration go to process equal server so h hpa underscore file here we have to add our local ip okay q to fit vi hit enter go at the bottom shift a hit enter host all here we have to give username and database name. but for this demo purpose i am showing i am giving all the details so now here we have to paste the ip my ip what is my my ip address dot com copy this one copy it go to shell paste it give forward slash 32 and provide the method of trust that is md5 click on wq exclamation this success now go to psql after modification of this pgn storage config we must run this reload config command okay so command is pg underscore reload underscore conf hit enter see it is success t means it is success we have to change in config file okay that is so type config underscore file and put semicolon at the end so this is the config file okay slash q to quit vi paste that search for listen underscore adder. so hit enter go to the start x2 remove the comment remove this localhost i2 insert mode then put star under save save the file exclamation wq exclamation and hit enter now exit sudo systemctl restart postgres this system ctl now go to pg admin click on save see we have successfully connected after few configuration changes okay expand this one see we don't have databases so to create database go to here sudo su hyphen first press esql here also we can create database create database after schools see create database is success let me refresh see new database added also we can create database right click on databases and select database then provide the database tt save see new database added also we can run the same statement right click on any database select query tool here also we can run the sql queries okay so next is we will see how to connect to postgresql from psql open cmd type psql hyphen h see this will work if you have installed psql client on your local machine then host name is go to this copy this ip then hyphen caps u it must be capital u then username postgres and hit enter then provide the password of postgres user see we have successfully connected let us verify databases see we have created two databases ttn after schools okay this is the second way and third way is by using dbware if you want to install dbware then go to the link provided in the video description and install it okay start dbware see i have installed dbware remove these are the existing connections remove them okay so to create new connection click on this new database connection then select the process equal then click on next even if you are unable to find this poster sql search here for the poster sql okay click on it click on next here in the host name we have to give host name of this page 
copy it go to the paste here see port number is 5432 data this is same you can give any database in the from the list okay username is this is the username then provide the password okay i want to connect to after scores click on test connection it asks you to download the drivers you have to click on download here connection is success click on ok click on ok expand expand databases see we connected to art schools database so in this video we have seen how to how to create azure virtual machine then we have seen install process equal on it then we have seen how to connect to the process equal servers from psql utility bg admin and db for more process equal or azure videos please subscribe my channel thank you